I need to get out of here and find help. I hope I can make it before it's too late. I need to return the Bloodhound Weasel to Benegar. At the same time, I will ask him for help with the spider. He is, after all, a hunter. Please, help! I found Willier! We must help him! We? I do not owe anything to anyone. Who is De Willier? What are you talking about? De Willier is the son of Madrid, the owner of the tavern. He went missing a couple of days ago, but I took your bloodhound weasel and found him. So it was you who took my bloodhound weasel? Since you are so independent, why can't you save the boy? I was attacked by a huge spider. You are a hunter. You can kill it. I have better things to do. I don't care about all these Dwilia Schmilias of yours. Go to your precious Magnus and let him help you. Magnus is still looking for the witch. Well, I'll arm myself with books and try to find out everything about this spider myself. I'll start with the one I have at home. So, I need to immobilize the spider with a hypnotic lantern and defeat it with a poisoned black steel weapon. Now we need to find a book about magic lanterns in Magnus's library. is gone. He is again looking for the witch. She is the most important thing to him. The Dwillier may die if I... if we... You are very worried about that boy. It's not really wise, but impressive. What do you want from me? I already know everything about the spider. It can be scared away with a special lantern. Here is the drawing, and it can be killed with dark steel weapons and poison. Dark steel? It's a rare material. I'm definitely not going to make a lantern. Ask Ron Grimm for help. He's an unpleasant guy, but he knows his stuff. I will look for a suitable weapon, and I will help you if I can find one. Ron Grimm, I found Willia. He was caught by a huge cave spider. I read how to defeat him with a special lantern. Wait, don't rush. What happened? How can I help you? Where is DeWiller now? I found him in a cave, which is in the well. He's still there. A huge spider wrapped its web around him and also tried to catch me. I need a hypnotic lantern to defeat the spider and take the boy. Benegar will help me with the rest. Benegar? You better not keep company with him. But on the other hand, I can't leave the smithy and my daughter unattended now to go after the boy. Do you have a drawing of a lantern? Yes, I found it in a book. I can forge the base. For now, you can work on the core. These are two subtle matters for me. I'm afraid I'll definitely break something. Come back a little later for the base. I saw new candles in the basement of the tavern. If I can find them, I can melt them down.
This is Liana the Dreamer, priestess of the Moon Goddess. She was one of those who stopped the Grey Overlord's invasion. This is the altar to open the Keeper, but I haven't found any similar to this yet.
Okay, there is the core. I'll ask the blacksmith if the base is ready. Here is the base for the lantern. Did you manage to make the core? Yes, almost everything is ready, but I have no idea how to make lenses. My daughter plays with multicolored glasses. You can find them in the treehouse on the edge of the forest. Take them. They could fit. What else do you need? I need to hang the lantern on something. Only a strong fishing rod could withstand it. But I don't know where I can get one. The fisherman has one. The poor guy isn't himself since his son went missing, but I have a spare key to a shop in the shed.
I made a lantern. Did you manage to find the right weapon? Yes, I found arrowheads that I kept for the right occasion, but we still need to apply poison to them. I saw a red horn snake at the edge of the forest. If its poison fits, I can collect it. It will do. You can borrow gloves from me in the clearing so as to not expose yourself to unnecessary danger. jar to collect the poison. I can look for it at Magnus's.
I brought the poison. Good. Now, I will apply it to the arrowheads. Lead me to the place where you found the boy. Leonore returned to the spider's lair with some help. She and Beniger prepared everything that would help to deal with the spider. The lantern hypnotized and immobilized the spider. The hunter fired a poisoned black steel arrow. A well-aimed shot hit the spider and it fell dead. Leonore quickly released the boy. Beniger put him on his shoulder, and they left the cave together. This doesn't look good. The spider has injected poison, which should prepare the victim to be eaten. The boy is slowly dying. Is there anything we can do to save him? I can go in search of a rare fruit whose juice can neutralize the poison and its effects. Someone should give a compress to the child to slow down the spread of the poison in the body. I will make the compress. What do I need for it? The recipe is on the alchemy table, but I don't have any of the ingredients you need. You'll have to collect them all first. I can handle it. I already know my way around the town and its surroundings quite well. I have no doubts about your abilities. You really are a capable student. It's a shame I don't have time to teach you right now, but we'll fix that. Well, I'm on my way. There's no time to waste. The boy will still be alive by tomorrow night, but not much longer. I need to collect all the ingredients as soon as possible. Need to fix the ladder somehow. Maybe there's something suitable in the blacksmith's shed.
I can't pull out the root with my hands. I need to take a shovel. Can I borrow your shovel again? You can, but I've already put all the tools in the barn. Look for the shovel there.
I'll sit here, in case he will feel worse. I'm so tired. <sighs> Leonore, together with the hunter, pulled the boy out of the cave. But the spider's venom continued to kill him. Magnus said that the juice of a special fruit could help, and went looking for it. Leonore put a compress on the boy and fell asleep due to the exhaustion. 